If I had to sum up what uh, Numa Iskoli is all about, I mean, in, in English it means call me thief, you know? And it really is about thieves, really, rather than gangsters. It's not really a gang film, it's more of a coming of age film. This film is about a man who discovers his gift whilst he's in prison, his gift of storytelling, and how that allows him to survive the evils of prison, if you want to put it that way. But it's also a story, it's a coming of age story about four friends. So what we've done is we've concentrated on the period of his life when he's probably about 14, or when the characters he's writing about are about 14, based on his life story, up until when they're about 24. So we've picked a sort of 10 year period of his life to concentrate on, and it's that kind of cusp of manhood, and then going into manhood in that environment, in the 60s, in the Cape Colored townships in South Africa. That's what our film is about. That was a big challenge to find the cast and to find the four male leads that were really going to carry the story and then to find four young actors who'd never acted before, most of them, and who could, you know, be good, you know, almost carbon copies of the older boys, you know, with this sort of 10-year difference. So it was very hard to do that casting. Uh, we started last year and it's just been a process of sort of six, seven, eight months to find just the right people, which I think we have. We have probably the only director who could have made this film, you know, Darren Joshua, who like grew up in the Cape Flats, who knows the life, you know. The story of the film echoes his own story. 15, 20 pages in and I was like, okay, I've got four, well, I've got three close friends and there's like four of us that were always together growing up, catching on shit in the Cape Flats and stuff like that. And probably one of the stories I could relate to the strongest in my life of reading scripts. The Owens were jumping off the page for me, I could see their faces, I could see who they were, I could see the area that they were moving around in. A fiction film set in the Cape Flats in the 60s, I can't recall any. Um, and that immediately makes it uh, unique. It's a heartfelt film, but it's also a truthful film. It's also a violent film, you know. So I would really encourage people to come and watch it with an open mind and an open heart, because I think it's going to be a very important film in this country. I think anyone struggling with the environment, you know, I think that on a broad base, it's going to appeal to all of those people that, that feel trapped in their daily lives and have bigger dreams. We're really not trying to be Hollywood. We know we are like, you know, Scollywood, and we just want to keep to that. And we think that is what will give it its, 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 its national and international appeal.